Welcome angels. I am Heather Buzzard of Buzzard's Corner of Love, bringing people back to themselves where we uplift and inspire you to become more who you truly came here to be. We invite the I Am Spirit in to co-create with us during this conversation. We are going to continue on sharing our adoption story and how our adoption was our path to forgiveness. So we left off at me finding my birth parents at the age of 28 and being able to look and turn and see somebody whom I look like. Well, you'd think that'd be the end of the story, yet it wasn't. Because I was still all twisted up in my thinking. I still had a lot of anger. I was carrying a lot of anger. A lot of unforgiveness toward my mother who raised me. A lot of misunderstanding from my birth parents who set me free at birth, wondering and questioning. So I met my extended family, my birth family on both my mama's side and my father's side. And on my mama's side, I was accepted. And it was different being an older sister because in the family that I was raised in, I was the baby. So being an older sister, it felt different. Yet I tell you, I spent the weekend down at my birth mother's house. And it was the very first time that I spent time with my birth family. And I could feel the difference of conditional love and unconditional love. In the house that I grew up in, I grew up with conditional love. I love you, Heather, if you look this way. I love you, Heather, if you dress this way. I love you, Heather, if you talk this way. I love you, Heather, if you act this way. That is conditional love. Yet when I spent the weekend time with my birth mother and my birth family, I could feel the difference of unconditional love. My mother just accepted me. She loved me. She appreciated me. We had a great conversation. We talked about so many things. And not at one time did I feel any energy of judgment that I was wrong, that I didn't belong, none of that. So there is a difference, angels, between conditional love and unconditional love. And it was that unconditional love with her that helped me untwist my twisted thinking and also helped me on my path of forgiveness. Now, on my birth daddy's side of the family, that was quite a different story. I am the only girl on my birth daddy's side of the family. Everybody else are boys. And I knew that growing up. I had a feeling that I came from a lot of boys, a lot of boy energy. Yet anyway, to continue on, as I got to know my birth father's side of the family, his mother, which would be my birth grandmother, she and I didn't hit it off. Just like my mom's mother who raised me, her and I didn't hit it off. So we clashed. So I really didn't know. I didn't get to know her. And my two brothers, I am also the older sister on my birth dad's side of the family. And I have two brothers on that side of the family. And I didn't get to know them either. Because it was... They really didn't have a desire to get to know me, and I didn't have a desire to get to know them. Yet my father's relationship with his mother, he tried to put onto me over the years, and that caused conflict between me and my daddy. So on that front, as, as the years went on, he and I spoke. We had a relationship, yet it wasn't close like my mama and I are. And I had always been so focused on the mama aspect of it. Because like I've said before, growing up in the household that I grew up in, my dad was my saving angel in that house. So imagine being a young adult out into the world. It's hard enough trying to figure out who we are and what our purpose is. And having that added on to you as well. So to continue on my journey, on my path to forgiveness, I untwisted that thinking and untwisting that thinking, angels, wasn't easy, which is where affirmations came into play. And I committed myself for 20 plus years of saying positive affirmations to regroup that negative mindset that I had had carried for so long. So imagine being accepted into my natural parents' family, 
and yet still having to walk through life wondering, well, if this was that way, how come I think like this? Or if I'm in that birth family with my daddy and my birth grandmother, how come they're responding to me in this way and in this manner? Yet at that time, angels, I wasn't a pleasant person either. And I was very uh, loud mouth and I spoke what I thought. And I wasn't polite in speaking that, especially on my daddy's side of the family. So that helped me to understand myself better. And it also helped me to forgive myself as I move forward on this path of life. So just under, uh, not understand, just remember that we all have situations and circumstances that we don't understand and that we're confused with. Yet I tell you that spiritual journey that I've been on, the spiritual path that I have been on, angels, has helped me understand me. It has helped me accept me and it has helped me love me. And that's what we here at Buzzard's Corner of Love encourage. Self-love, self-empowerment and self-growth. Because if you don't do it for yourself, nobody on this planet will. Stay tuned as we continue. Our adoption is our path to forgiveness. We'll have some more videos come out soon. Until next time, angels, I am Heather Buzzard, a Buzzard's Corner of Love, bringing people back to themselves.